Hi YouTubers, welcome back to Create Alicious. So I'm just going to come back on again. I didn't think I was going to do another video today, but it's so um, wet and drab outside, or at least it was. It's gone a bit sunnier now um, that I couldn't get out for my walk. Um, so I'm going to just share with you. This is the shiny, just shiny, um, like photograph paper that I'm... Uh, sharing with you and I've done some dendritic printing on it nothing special because I don't have a piece of glass and I certainly don't have any perspex um, but I want to just add some more to these that I've dried off from the other day of me doing this so, uh, is that sun coming through now that you're not going to be able to see that I love you sun but can you just go away a little bit ski so I can just because <laughs> I think this is going to ruin my shot but anyway, so I'm just going to come back on and add some more and show you how I do my dendritic printing. And again, for those people that don't have, or say I can't do that because I don't have that, that basically come up with excuses. I don't do excuses. And so all I'm going to work with today is, let's just move that up a little bit. Beautiful hobby craft. Again, mixed with paint. Just kids paint. And I'm going to use uh, this one, which is purple doesn't say what color purple but it's purple purple oh it just says purple and this one says lilac and this one is bright pink so I'm just going to use those three colors again and I have a glass from my dinner table actually <laughs> um, but it seems to get used more for crafting than it does for dinner so this is how you do it this is how you do it baby so I'm just going to squish, this is a bit of a messy job, but because it's kids paint, it comes off, you know. So I'm just going to squish some on, this is the technical term for squishing on the table. And then I'm just going to splosh some of this on. Oh, this doesn't splosh so well. It does. i just got to be careful that I don't um, splosh this all over my computer. Right. There's it all splashed, and I have to put this underneath so you can. Oh, look at me! I'm covered in paint already. Um, so that you can see, otherwise you'll see straight through to my legs, and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So all I do is I put the paint on the glass table. I get a card, and even if this is um fresh card, and I will do one of the other sides in a minute. I'm just going to add some more. Actually, let's just get you a cleaner one so we can see how this works out. Oh, I hope that sun's not. Let me just put the blind down. Hold on, just a jiffy. There we go. It's like I've been waiting for the sun all day and now it's here, I've got to shut it out. That's not very good. Um, so I'm just going to use this one that I've already done. And I don't even smush this together. All I do is just go in there and then just keep printing it back onto the table. So the table then becomes very dendritic. Um, and then you just keep going over it. Smush, smush. Uh, let me just get another clearer one. So then your dendritics happen on the table, so then you can get more from that. So I just squish onto the table. And then you get your results. And some of these probably don't need any more doing to them. I don't even... Uh, just squish. Hey, hey. Squish, squish. I'm not saying you've got to go and buy yourself. I've got no room now to put all of these. Um, I'm not saying you have to go and buy yourself a glass dining table. Um, but you can just do it with a couple of pieces of Perspex, as other people have shown. Or just two. Oh, look at that on my table. If I could just print my table, cut my table out. Look at that. Um, and... And so that now I've got no space for all of these now. So hold on a second, I'm just going to put them on the window still. So I'm going to show you. Oh, on one of the, this is a dry piece. So this is the back, just plain. I'm just going to squish some more of this down. Come on, this one's a little bit thicker. So again, you don't have to do no putting together. You just do it on the do it on a surface. I don't. Sometimes I don't even use the glass. I just use a piece of paper underneath. 
So again, you do not need technical stuff here. And again, you could swish all that together, um, but I tend not to. I just go smush and see, look at that. See, less is more. You just don't have to try this sort of stuff. And if you don't like it, print it again. So here's the back side of another one, which is blank. And, and again, that I could just print that onto paper if I wanted to. Um, so just doing that and that, and there you have it. Um, whichever way you want your card up to be. So there's no trying in it. In fact, if you don't try, the better it out it comes. And the better out. The size is not even English. That's just one print. Um, so the less you try, the better it is. I am just going to grab, um, actually, um, what am I going to grab? I really have no idea because I've got more paint on here than I actually wanted. So let me just, this is one of, I'm going to see if I can do it with this because this is one of the um, cards I did from the tissue water colour. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. Um, maybe not. So, um, maybe not. Um, it's okay. It's not, it, um, you know. So I'll, I'll use that. That'll look better when it's dried, actually, because it's too dark now that it's um, actually that. Let's do that bit again. Um, yeah. So that's darker on a background, lighter that. And that background was mm, was the watercolors that I made out of the tissue paper. Um, so again, and you can see little bits of dendritic in there if I get closey, closey, closey. Uh, but not as good as on to blank. And that, and that was just this one print. So I know that you've probably seen loads of dendritic done in loads of different ways. I'm just showing you my way. Um, and there's no right and wrong about this. Um, so, and I'm just going to clean this off because I don't want to waste that. I've got nowhere else to put it because it's straight onto my glass top table. So I do need to clean that because what I am going to do... Ah, I did it. I haven't saved myself a clean card. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I hadn't... Oh, have I? Yeah. So this one's dried from the other day when I did these and this is I, I decided I felt a bit like colouring today so I got one of my sheets of paper out of my jumbo colouring book and now I'm going to cut this butterfly out where she gone and I'm going to stick her on here okay so let's have a look let's get those out of the way for you so again I as you probably realised from the couple of videos that you may have watched I am a type of person to inspire and motivate others on a granuloso scale. So I'm just trying to keep that on. Just going to sort of fussy cut, and I mean fussy because I'm really not going to be fussing over it a lot, to cut this out. And then I'm going to use this on this. These are the best of scissors, and I can. I'm not going to rush off and go and look for my little ones because, and actually when you're fussy cutting, yeah, it is better to have dinky-doo scissors. Is there such a word? Dinky-doo scissors. Let's cut the easy part. Sorry if you're not, if I'm off camera doing this. Um, let's just bring you there and then you can see me. Apologies about that. Um, so, just, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm going to come back to you. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> that took me forever to cut her out. And I couldn't cut her out properly, so I've cut her things off, whatever you call them, her um, antennae off. So the little bug thing can't talk to you right now because she's got no antennae because I've cut them off because I couldn't fussy cut around them. So I've not decided quite. We're going to try some crit stick because I don't really know how this is going to work. And if it doesn't... I have some double-sided tape here. So, print stick, here we go. Um, but this paper's not the best, it's not, I'm not even going to explain it, it's just kids' paper, isn't it? So, so let's see if my bird will stick. Let's see if my bird will stick. 
about E ish. Stick you there, babes. Stick you do. Right. And then I'm going to draw her antennae back on. Sorry about that, love. Doo -doo -doo. Right, now you're a full butterfly again. Butterflies stand for transformation. And so I'm just going to draw. Oh, that pen doesn't work on that. Look at that. Oh, let's put a top on that. So I'm just going to outline her again. Um, and that's the good thing about these kids' books is they've got really good detailed outline on, whoopsie, on, um, <laughs> on, come on, somebody finish my sentence for me. On, I'll start that one again. They have got really, kids' books, I'll start again cause, because I'll eventually I will get to this state of remembering what the end of the sentence was. So kids' books have got, are printed in really big style <laughs> For people who are um, losing that part of themselves as they age, um, so it helps to um, helps for cutting out and stuff. Um, whoopsie! And again, nothing has to be perfect because that's what it's about. Now I do know because this is coloured in with what did I colour these in with? Oh yes, I decided I found these and thought, oh, do you know what? I think I'll just do some colouring. See that, and that's how my world works. Oh, look at that. I think I'll just do some colouring. And so I colour, and then I think, mm, what do I want to do with that now? So I'm just going to bug her up a little bit more. Just colour her up a little bit. Put the black lines in a little bit heavier. Hmm, quite. I quite fancy her. Um, she looks like she wants to say something to you, doesn't she, with her big eyes? Do you not think? So, pretty much, um, do I have a story to go with this one? Yes, of course I do. I'm a storyteller. Of course I've got a story to tell. What's in my way there? Um, mm, wet paint. Um, of course I've got a story to tell. Butterflies, transformation. Yeah, that... So at any point in your life, you see lots and lots of butterflies and people say to me, well, of course I'm going to see them, it's summer. Yep, that's true. And you might see more, but you might have a butterfly lands on you or you might suddenly be surrounded by butterflies. And butterflies, oh, I can't be doing it with that pen, it's taking too long. And this is a sharpie fine point. If this is fine, I seriously wouldn't like to see what thick is. Um, so butterflies transformation I don't just mean oh I see a butterfly because it's um, landed on in the garden or you'll only see them in the summer clearly obviously but if you see butterflies suddenly suddenly it's a bit like seeing the same clock time all the time so you see 333 on the clock or um, see numbers, the same numbers or a registration number, it's trying to tell you something um, and so when you see butterflies or butterflies come into you, into your world then it's saying transformation is on its way and whatever might be going on in your life it could be about to transform into something else um, I love butterflies they're one of my totem animals Butterflies are you beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? And she's just so happy, isn't she? Let's just bend her this way a little bit so she there you go. Um so again you can use your prints for I might need to double side that down a little bit actually. Um and because there's no there might be room on there for, for writing. I might put transformation on there somewhere. Mm. Mm, maybe because that's quite a long word isn't it no I don't think I don't want to do any more to that at the moment again I've gone off inspired so again I might do the edges I might I might not but just for now that's how I'm going to do it and this I said on my last video 
If you feel that you can't go any further, don't try and make it up. Just go away, walk away, come back to it another day. <laughs> See, there's a rhyme there. Walk away, walk away and come back to it another day. And um, just come back to it another day. And that whatever that wants to then become again, if it wants a word, I'll find a word. It's not necessarily going to want one. And... Um, I'm going to see a face down there, look. Where's she gone? Um, I don't want to draw all over her. There, in there, I can see. Mm, so again, and you could use these just on your table, just to stand up, put a little stand at the back and have a transformational word on there to inspire you. And maybe just to remind you that if you're going through a difficult time, then the word transformation might just help you to get through your day. Um, or it could stand for freedom. The butterflies come from chrysalis stage um, and then they they come into their own uniqueness. Actually, butterflies only last for a very short space of time. But and that's not to say if you transform, you're going to pass over in the next 48 hours. What I'm saying is the situation is about to transform itself into something, morph into something else. And that's what the quality of butterfly stands for. So I'm going to come back to that another time. So I just wanted to come on and share with you my way of doing dendritic prints. Um, and that was an added bonus. So here's the ones, as I said, I did earlier. I wanted to just work with a few more pinks. And I wanted that colour pink and purple vibration in my day to day because it's feeling a little bit grey outside. So just incorporating colour into my day just to make those energies lift from the darkness of the grey outside. And actually there is blue skies coming over me now and these beautiful white fluffy clouds. Um, and I might still go out for my walk. It's five o'clock and it's still light people. That's great. Spring is just around the corner. So, and again, another one. Just allowing that colour to come into your life every day just can pick you up from a, a bit of a messy place if you're in the messy place. So, um, just be inspired by colour has its own vibration, um, as does music. And that's just the last thing I'm going to say to you today is if you're having... Um, if you're having a, I don't know, you might call it a bad day. I don't believe, I believe words affect us, so I don't call it. A, I don't call things like bad days bad days. They're just days in which I accept them, whichever way I look at it, whether they feel bad or indifferent. Um, but in terms of using the color, color, uh, they use it in color therapy for the very reason it can change how you feel. So using colour in your artwork, it doesn't matter whether it's the right colours together, whether they blend together. You've never heard Mother Nature say, oh actually you can't be a purple flower today because I don't, I'm green. So <laughs> you never hear that, you never hear Mother Nature arguing about what colours um, are going to be in her in her colour scape of life, in, her, in nature. So don't worry about colours being blended or not together or colour um, will go together. There are obviously more synergistic ways of putting colour together um, from the colour wheel, you can see that. But Mother Nature never never cries and she never um, <laughs> cries out to say, oh, you can't put blue with green today because I don't feel very blue. I, actually, I feel blue and I don't feel very green. So, um, yeah, so just be inspired by Mother Nature and transform your life through colour, through putting colour onto paper and that could just actually shift your energy from wherever you're at, whether that's mood, whether that's illness, whether that's just feeling a bit low and lonely, let colour inspire you and uplift your life. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, have an awesome day uh, from wherever you're watching this in the world um, and we'll catch you another time.